Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some more jelly printing. I've got some stencils here that are kind of like a paper stencil, cardboard, um, but they have really cool designs down here. And I wanted to pull out my golden fluid acrylics and just kind of make some bright happy colored prints that I can use for card bases. So let me... I'm just going to start putting some color down. That was the phthalo blue green shade. And I guess I'll start with this pretty looking flower mandala. And to pull the texture from the inside, I just have this piece of cardboard. So I'll just press that down. And I'll do a little bit on the top and bottom where the paint is. Okay. And now I'll let this layer dry and then I'll go in with another layer on top. Alright, so that's dry and the next layer that I'll do is this yellow medium color. And I just want to take a little bit of design out of this. I'm going to use this design here. Okay, and I want to remove some of that background so that I can see the layer through it and I'll let that dry all right and then I'll come in with my magenta color over the top I'm not ready to pull this print just yet and what I want to do is I just put some of my drywall tape on the back of this impression plate or texture that I have. And I'm just going to pull away some of the magenta. All right. And maybe I'll do a little bit of just some texture. I just cut this out of a piece of heavy cardstock. Okay. I'm planning to put a little bit of gold. So I'm just wanting to reveal the gel plate just a little bit. I think like that is good. So I'll let that dry and then I'll add my gold. Okay, so I'm ready to go in with my gold.
and I am going to use this to pull my print. And I will let that dry and see what that looks like when we return. Alright, so that's nice and dry. And here is this first print, which is very nice and vibrant. And this is going to make a great card background. I can put a sentiment in the center. Um, put this on a card base. So I'm going to keep making a few more so I can have several card base uh, designs ready to go. So for my next one, I think I'll start with the purple, the ultramarine violet. And for this one, I want to do a little bit of a different color with it. So I'll do the magenta. And I'll pick a different flower design, this one. And for my texture, I just used a little die cut, cut out some little pieces. Just going to get some little designs inside. Alright, and then I will let that part dry. Alright, so I did let this all dry. I did notice that one of these little pieces got stuck. So we'll just add to the design. Just a little bit different than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so for this next layer, now that this is all dry, let's see what color purple and pink. I think I'll go in with a layer of some white. And I will do some more of this texture. And a little bit of the cardboard texture. And let that dry. Alright, so I'll go in with my iridescent gold over the white. And we'll pull that print. That should be dry. Let's 
very bright and happy with the purple and the pink. And then you do see the bits of the gold that come through on the just a few areas. A little bit in the center and on the edges. So that'll make a great card background. And let's do another one. This time I think I want to use my turquoise. And I'll pick a different flower. This one. And the texture I'll pull out is this little polka dot. And this time I'll just remove it. See if I can get any of that up. All right, and now I'll let that dry for my next layer. I'm gonna put a layer of white over the top of the turquoise. And I'm going to take the same stencil. I'm going to do the same thing. Just use this to help press it down. Okay, and now I will let this dry and then I'll go in with some of my gold. I decided to use this Azo gold, it's kind of a reddish color. Since I did the white, it's actually looking more like a brown. It's quite an interesting color. So we'll see what this looks like. I think I do still want to put some of my gold behind this. So I'll just pull up this texture. And then I'll, my final layer will be the gold. So here's the gold. And I'll pull the print with my gold layer. Oh, that actually looks really pretty. So that orangey color with the turquoise, it looks so nice together. And then you can see the gold. Nice shine to it. Very cool. That will make a great background for a card as well. So I think I'll do one more. And for this one, I think I'll do some more green tones. Maybe I'll do this. Halo green. 
and a little bit of yellow, light yellow. This one. And I'll do my drywall tape. And I think I'll go in with a few of these little. Which is fine because uh, I think what I'm going to do for my next layer is going to be the gold. So that the gold will really pop with all those details. Now I'll remove a little bit from the gold layer. I think I want my final layer to be white. And I'll come back when that is dry. I want to add a drop of the turquoise, maybe two. Oh, that's the little green shade. Never mind. I thought I grabbed turquoise, so I'll throw some turquoise in. That's a pretty color. Oh, that's so pretty. That is very nice. It looks like a sunflower and it has all this gold around it. I like the blue in the background. It's kind of a turquoise color. Very nice. So those colors look really good together. So that is going to make a great little card center where I can put maybe a circle or some kind of a round sentiment on the front of it. So I'll just go ahead and show you a few of the cards that I'm going to make with these prints. Here are the four completed prints. I think they turned out really beautiful and they are going to make some great looking cards. So I'll just show you two of the cards that I'm going to make with these backgrounds. So here are my two completed cards using two of the prints. And those cards came together so quickly. I just had to add a little sentiment and on one of them I just added a few of the leaves and these make some beautiful cards. 
Thanks for watching and following along with my jelly prints and my cards at the end here. And I will see you next time for probably another jelly printing session. In the meantime, happy crafting y'all.